Hi, my name is Matt, and I'm so glad you're here with me today. We're going to look at something that's in my collection. It's a Hobbergen, a shirt of mail, and it's right here on this table. There's a few things about this that make me wonder how I could have possibly spent the money that I did on it. Uh, for one thing, it is made out of stainless steel, and it is extremely heavy. I'm going to weigh it. I'm actually going to try to put this thing on. It's like putting on uh, a bunch of bricks that are all somehow linked together. This thing weighs so much. But before we get to the shortcomings of this shirt, I want to talk about chainmail and its historical context and its role in protecting the medieval knight. Some of the best depictions of knights wearing mail are found in artwork and funerary effigies. This 14th century monument shows mail covering the whole body, even down to the fingertips. Mail has been the primary protection of the armored soldier for at least 2,000 years, possibly even much earlier. In Europe in the Middle Ages, the widespread use of plate armor beginning in the 14th century decreased the overall importance of mail to some extent, though its usefulness continued as it was incorporated into the knight's armor for a couple of centuries. An early depiction of mail, which is very illuminating, can be found throughout the enormous Bayeu tapestry. Here we see mounted knights and foot soldiers wearing hauberks, which were a longer version of the hauberjen. Something that's often pointed out is that very little medieval chainmail survives, and the reason for this is related to its enduring usefulness. Although iron mail would certainly rust, it could be cleaned, fixed, refitted, recycled, and made to fit the contemporary style. Now, butted mail in Europe in the Middle Ages would have been extremely uncommon. So if we take a look at this, what do we have here? We have a shirt of mail that stretches about uh, 24 inches from the neck to the waist. But let's measure it just to be sure. Uh, it looks like more like 26 inches from the neck to the waist. And uh, we want to weigh it too. We're going to take some measurements as well uh, and, and see how big these rings are. That could be one of the problems that just the rings are simply too small. And because there are so many rings, although it's very mobile, I mean, it allows you to move well, it simply causes it to weigh uh, far too much. I really think it should weigh a lot less than this. That's really why I consider it to not be very useful. Besides the fact that it is stainless steel and it might be coated with zinc. I've had it for 10 years in an area that um, is prone to high humidity and I've never seen any rust, so it's likely coated with zinc. Let's see, zero pounds. I think we can weigh it right here on the table. I don't see why we couldn't. We'll roll up the shirt. Here we go. Oh boy. Okay. Here it comes. All right. Ah, here we go. It's gonna be upside down for you. 26 and a half pounds. I'm gonna try to put this on by myself which is no small task. Ugh. So the front is just like the back, so there's really no front or back. And I'm gonna try to not hurt myself on these, uh, on these rings. Since they're butted mail, uh, you know, they can, they can be opened. Oh. This is hard work. You do need, you do need like a squire or somebody to help you with this kind of stuff because you just can't do it yourself with ease. This thing is so heavy, this is like wearing a person on my back or something. There's a lot of mobility because the rings are so small so there's really no hindrance to the mobility but it's, it's not pleasant. It's not, it's, it's like this is a workout. You could probably, you could sell these as workout equipment. And then just to give you some reference for the size of the rings, uh, did this a little bit earlier, but just to check in one more time here. But the inside of the ring, the internal diameter uh, is only five millimeters. And the outside is seven millimeters. So I think the rings are too small. And I think really that's part of the problem. If the rings were bigger, 
uh, you'd have fewer, and so fewer is going to be lighter. 26 and a half pounds is so heavy. Try to avoid butted mail. Go for riveted. Um, what else do you want to avoid? Avoid anything that's stainless steel, zinc plated, anything that's too shiny. It just doesn't look right. I would also go with flat rings probably, just a preference. You could go with round rings, that's fine. All right, so that is gonna wrap it up for today. I really appreciate you being here and checking this video out. If you haven't seen my other videos, take a look at those as well and give them a like if you find them interesting uh, or comment, criticism, I can certainly handle that. Uh, otherwise, check back here on Tuesdays or Saturdays. That'll be the day that I get these uploaded. Thanks, bye.